Um, my name is Asia Keenan, and I will be sing singing Autumn in New York. It seems so inviting Autumn in New York It spells the thrill of first nighting Glittering crowds and shimmering clouds In canyons of steam Transforms the slums into Beautiful. Are you from New York? No, you're from Idaho. From Idaho. From Idaho. Yeah. Okay. 
What, what made you pick the song? Uh, well, it was my favorite jazz song, like all-time jazz song. Like I mainly found it my freshman year, and I um, sang it my sophomore year, but I just chose it because I like to see how far I've come with the song. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, just yeah. like growth, I guess. Well, the, your voice is beautiful, Thank and you. I love how y you have the legit voice, but you have a soul in it as well, um, so you can belt, but it's got some, and the, the tone, and I, I love that you've got the right key, obviously, but I know that that's what you all do and work together, <laughs> so it's beautiful. Um, I, because the story, it, there is no repeated chorus, um, really it's a storytelling song, so you need a little bit, you need more variety in delivering it, um, but it sounded spectacular, um, I, but I want it to be more of a memory, and I want it to be a memory that, kind of like that acting thing. It's a memory. You're telling you're telling me a story like you're talking to me. So tell me tell me the first verse. Just talk to me about as if I had never been to autumn, as I'd never been to, if I'd never been to New York. Tell me about the first verse. Well, just to not like say. The not sing it. Just talk to me. Tell me the lines. Um, well, in New York in the autumn. It's no, well really, you can say the like lines. The land, yeah. Okay, good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, autumn in New York. It's so inviting, and it spells the thrill of first nighting. Mm. Yeah. A little more? Okay. Um. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> all right. Okay. right. But even in that first sentence, you, you told me the story like, well, Autumn in New York, it's got a da-da-da-da-da. You were seeing it, and you—I mean, you were probably remembering the lyrics. But you were talking to me like you were talking to me and telling me a story. You didn't necessarily just look at me and say, "Autumn in New York is this and this and this and this." You said, "Autumn in New York, it's got a this and this, this and this." You know what I mean? So feel free to look away a little bit and and tell the story like you're talking to somebody, like you're you want to keep them engaged. And 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 sometimes when you remember something, like you were just trying to remember right now. You look around, you, 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 you look at the floor and you, you look up and you're like, oh yeah, that's what I remember. Autumn in New York is this. So I want, I want to feel you uh, come to the song. I want to see you, I want to see you come, these thoughts come to you okay. versus you singing them so beautifully and just singing them as, as it's written on the page. Um, but that would be my only note personally, but I could, I could, as soon as you started singing, I was like, make a Christmas album. I could listen to you and just sit by the fire. Christmas in New York. York. Yes. Right. Yes. The snowballs in the swing. Asia, your voice is, is beautiful and you have great facility and, and great phrasing and, and uh, you, you have great instincts, which I wish I had had at your age. Some of them I wish I had now. Really. Uh, so that's, that's great. What Nicole said about the lyrics, um, I was feeling sort of the same thing, because sometimes I'm hearing you sing phrases very loud where the lyric doesn't warrant that, like lovers who dine at the Ritz, that's very loud. And I realized that you've put together a very interesting vocal routine that I like. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't always feel connected to what the lyric is saying. And um, that's something that will continue to grow with you. So there's no bad news here. It's just be mindful of that. And I'd love to hear you sing it again where it doesn't feel like I know that you've worked out all those vocal things, okay. which comes from doing it more. Mm -hmm. And none of us have been able to do much of that because there hasn't been much live performing. Because mm -hmm. the more you do it, it'll become more natural. Uh, and, and I'd love to hear you sing it um, qu quieter when you hit those loud notes and sing them not quite so loud because sometimes you're singing them louder than I think the lyric warrants. So if you think more about the words, as Nicole was saying, it will change the way you sing it vocally and it will make it more connected and make it even deeper. And uh, as you do that, it will appear in your eyes. Because the song starts with autumn in New York. Is it, why does it seem so exciting or inviting? Inviting. inviting. Autumn in New York. Why does it seem so inviting? Autumn in New York. It spells the thrill of first nighting. 
And do you, do you see the difference? Instead of autumn in New York, why does it seem yes. so inviting? Autumn in New York. See, you can, and, and enunciating a little bit, autumn in New York, why does it seem so inviting? Autumn in New York, it spells the thrill of first nighting. You see how you can get little things out of that that will make the words more important and it'll it'll match what you're doing vocally in a different way. And with Would, that, oh, go ahead. I, didn't want I, was, to you. I was just going to invite you to, to do it again. And, yeah, and, and, and the, the song, it's a long song. How well, many it's verses two choruses. You did two choruses, and two how, full so, choruses. Uh, it, and it seems like it, it's different stories, different vignettes. So with that, and that first, que the first line is a question. It's like the, the national anthem. Oh, say, can you see? You're asking, can you see this? Like, why am I so enthralled with New York and autumn? Oh, well, and, and you keep discovering why you love singing this song and why this is going on. And, oh, and let me tell you about this part. Oh, and let me tell you. I mean, you don't have, but you, you want to, you're, you want them to come along with you for each part of the story. Please. Autumn in New York Why does it seem so inviting? Careful of this, this arm because yeah. you're doing a lot of this. <laughs> yeah. And, and it's almost like Betty Davis with the cigarette, you know, <laughs> yeah. so, so be a little. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anywhere you want, he'll follow you. He's amazing. Yes, he is. <laughs> Autumn in New York. Why does it seem so inviting? the thrill of first nighting. Now tell us about it. Glittering crowds and shimmering clouds in canyons of steel. That's fantastic. Do you, feel, do you feel the difference? Yeah. You're doing it completely differently. It feels so authentic. Yeah. It doesn't, nothing feels studied or prepared. It feels like spontaneous. Yeah. It's great. You. Would you mind going from the second chorus? Mm -hmm. So we'll have a chance to hear you. We have two minutes, so if you'll go from the, the second chorus. So. The gleaming, the gleaming rooftops. Enunciate a little bit more. Okay. It'll give you a little more juice. Go, go, go again. Autumn in New York. The gleaming rooftops at sundown. Yeah, yeah. Central 
great. Bravo. That was fantastic. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you so much.